because I cannot enter the field with Can you imagine guys? I cannot enter the field with like I just Hi guys, so I'm getting my boarding pass. Exactly. They refused to give me my boarding pass and they're not telling me why. Okay. They're telling me I need to have my husband to enter Philippines. Have you ever heard of such a rule? Like uh, Cebu Park, Malaysia. Explain to me why I need to travel with my husband to enter Philippines when I already have the Balik Bayan visa reflecting on my passport. And so I came here early. I've been here early and uh, they have refused to deal with me. The manager came, she was because I requested for the manager, she was so rude and um, I feel like I'm being tried and tested on every angle. As you can see, as you can see there's no more line. <laughs> yes, I'm in tears because I cannot wait to see my children and my husband <laughs> and I'm here being delayed from them and I don't even know whether I'm going to make it on this flight um, because my flight is at 1 a.m. I'm not going through immigration. I don't have my body pass, and it's it's midnight now. It's midnight, um, and they're not talking to me. Like I'm asking them questions, and they're not talking to me. They have kept quiet. Who does that to a customer? Who does that to a customer? <laughs> I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. No, no, like. Um, why wouldn't you talk to a customer? Why, why wouldn't you explain to them stuff? Why wouldn't you? How can you just say you're not allowed in the Philippines? Your visa is not valid. Like, are you even immigration? Like, if this is immigration, okay, it is not immigration. It is the airline. And you guys, uh, I, I cannot, I cannot believe. Like, can you hear yourself that you need, I need a spouse to, to travel? Are you hearing? Like, like, how can? dismissing Filipino visa. How do you dismiss a whole country's visa? How do you dismiss it as an airline? Not enter the Philippines. Can you imagine guys? I cannot enter the Philippines. Like I can I cannot even like I'm even here in it and I'm like are you kidding me? I cannot enter the Philippines. I have one hour before my flight goes and here I am talking and vlogging and anyway I just wanted to let you guys know I don't know if I'll make it for my flight. I let's try and talk to these guys again. I'm about to miss my flight. Can can you please help me not miss this flight? Mm -hmm. hey guys, I don't know what. I want to see my children. I want to see my husband. I have four children. I need to see my four children. I cannot afford to miss this flight. These guys have been ignoring me for one hour. Oh, that was one hour ago. Sorry. I've been ignoring me for two hours now and I, they're telling me and I, I have a flight to Kenya with my sister. Oh, they can't let me out. Like, why wouldn't you let me out? I'm not even Malay. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> have you ever been tried, tested, uh, tossed about? And not only me, my brother-in-law is like my husband, everybody's just on this culinary. We've even called the Philippine ambassador, walking him up at this time of the night <laughs> to explain to us uh, the solution and he's telling us, yes, I, I can go to the Philippines and all these restrictions are not. So the Philippine am ambassador in Malaysia is telling us that all these restrictions are not valid and these guys are still not going to hear it. Like, Yet I was here almost four hours ago. There's nobody. Last call. My flight is good. I've not gone through immigration of Malay. And and their and their gates are literally so far. Like I'll be running to make this flight. I'll literally be running. 
I'm showing you four children. I'm showing you everything. I'm showing you my visa. The most important thing, I'm showing you my Balik Bayan. It's called Balik Bayan, which shows you have, you can be in the country for one year without anything. With just that. Fellow Balik Bayans. If you... So I'm here still. Um, it has been a back and forth, back and forth. Like I need an onward ticket, on one ticket. I need an on one ticket. Like all my test of humility is out the door. Like I, I, I don't know how to talk anymore. I really don't know how to talk. On one ticket to where? Where do you want me to go? On one ticket to where? On one ticket to where? When my passport is saying that I live in the Philippines, when my passport is telling me I am a Balik Bayan. What is this? <laughs> like so that it me it means the Philippine law does not allow a foreigner spouse to get out of the country unless she has a unless she has a 
her husband with her. Does that even make sense to you? Because that's not the law. That's not the law. The law is if I want to renew, okay, then I get out with my husband and come in with him. That is the law. But nobody wants to listen to me. Nobody like I need a Ford ticket. Ford ticket. Ford ticket. You can like how are you gonna send me back to? What what's annoying me is that this is not immigration. Like this is not immigration. Like immigration, if they say that to me, okay. I'm like, okay, deport me. Do what? Do deport me to Kenya. Do something. But 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 you are you're the airline and you're going to refuse to. You're gonna refuse to. So what is Manila saying? That I can't go back to my spouse that I left in the Philippines? What is Manila saying? That I, I cannot be an independent woman and travel without my spouse? That I need to... Same thing that what? That my visa is not valid? Okay, if if my visa is not valid, then you allow me. No, no. Okay, then what is it? No, I don't need one one ticket because I've told you, I've explained to you. I live in the Philippines. On one ticket is if you don't live there. I live there as a spouse. 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 I live in the Philippines. Okay, what qualifies me to be a resident according to this? What qualifies me to be a resident? See, I have to have lived there how many years to be a resident? There's a whole process to be a resident, right? Right. Okay, so what does a spouse do when they are going back to their husband to Philippines? What does a spouse do when they want to go back to Philippines? Did you check my visa for Malaysia? It's done. It's done. I cannot be here. But my home is Philippines. That's where my, my spouse is. You can keep quiet all you want, but it's your job to make sure I get on that plane. But it's... And so everything they're saying here, like, she hasn't even said, I'm not talking to you. I can't deal with you. Like, like, when does that come? When does that come? to board and I'm not yet done anyway. Where do waivers come in is what I want to understand. Where do waivers come in? Because even in a hospital you can do a waiver. Where do where do waivers come in? I'm just saying, yeah. I've even stopped crying because I have to be strong here. Yeah. I have to be strong here. Yeah. I have to be strong because the, the level of abuse I'm going used to board me um, but I've been told the only solution because the Philippine office called and said don't let her uh, don't let her board the plane uh, unless she's with her husband or has a ticket to Kenya and so I so either Reverend Solomon has to come to Malaysia to get me or I get a ticket to Kenya Anyway, so um, I'm so disappointed. And what's making me cry even more is because I was thoroughly abused. I was called uneducated, unintelligent, fool. I started calling me, and the one who was doing this removed his tag because I was like, because when you're stalking, he's trying to zero on his, on his tag to see his name, something Habib, Ryle, Habib, something, some guy. And um, so he. He started going on and on, you know, we're not going to board you. And he's like, you know, inside your head, he's like, inside your head, 
No, in Tele, this, this, your head is empty, empty. You're such a fool. You're, you're, you're such a foolish girl, foolish woman. All you do is talk. All you do is talk. But inside your head is empty. You have nothing in your head. Do you, do you even reason? Do you, were you educated? Do you, do you have education? You know? Malaysia. Hey, Cebu Park. Cebu Pacific, Malaysia. Hey. May God deal with those guys. Like, <laughs> how do you abuse me like that? How do you call me and you're uneducated? How do you call me a fool? How do you call me my head has nothing? And then you say your head is just a skull with empty, empty skull inside, nothing inside. You and your people, me and my people, me and my people. Who, who are those people? Let, let's look for them. Okay, me and my people. Where are my people? Come, come. Let's let let let's let's ask this Cebu Park guy. Like where? <laughs> Can we ask this Ebu Park guy how me and my people we have empty heads? Tell me if that's not racial profiling. Like, tell me if that's not racist profile. These guys were. Pure... <laughs> I'm literally just. This is hot chocolate. So. Anyway, uh, we're trying to see if we get another flight or just Reverend Saul to fly in and get me. <laughs> it's it's 1 a.m. Um, I just want to see my children, you know, see my husband. I just want to be home. We're just going through all the abuse, being abused, being abused. Like my my spouse visa, because we have a special spouse visa. For those who are wondering what Balik Bayan is, it's a spouse visa. And so I'm like, you guys are just literally refusing to see it. It's literally there. <laughs> Can I can I speak to somebody higher? And when she comes, the woman was all kinds of rude. Like <laughs> you know, she was talking to me like she's talking to a three-year-old, literally lecturing me. And I was like, excuse you, excuse me. That's not how you address somebody. You know there's some foolishness that you can take, but there's some foolishness you cannot take. Like you cannot just take it like all you know the entire time i was like so humble you know like because i'm like these are women there's no <laughs> i don't ugh, like i've gone through such bad bad experiences you know? so when i noticed okay like these guys i need to be humble you know so i was like so humble like i'm so sorry you know but i really thought that my visa can you know and you're showing them the visa so this is the visa like humility all sorts of humility but when the manager came and started treating me like she's talking to thandy eh? that's when i was i became really strong i was like okay so can, can can we can we get this down right like can we first like if you're gonna be racist okay let's let's establish it first because i don't think you'll be talking to a white woman like this i seriously doubt it like i seriously doubt it that they would be talked to a white woman like the way the manager talked to me ah i'm disgusted to the core i'm so disgusted i'm disappointed i am I don't know what to do. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. So um, anyway, let me wish my sister a safe trip. They're about to fly out. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. We will see if Reverendsal comes. Oh, because that's the, the the only solution is Kenya or my husband comes pick me up. Like in this day and age, you're going to ask a woman to travel with her husband to to get out of the country you're going to ask a woman to travel with her husband to prove that she's a spouse of, of that country like does it make sense help me understand how it makes sense a grown woman like me with four children that i need to travel with my husband like help me understand this oh anyway i'm getting out of the spirit and i'm entering into some serious carnality so anyway i'm not gonna let the the enemy of the devil just bring this down uh bring me down because i had a lovely amazing trip <sighs> anyway let me talk to my husband thanks so much for watching subscribe to our channel <laughs> turn on the notification bell you need a notification bell to see how this this drama unfolds like am i here another day am i here another night because 1 30 am I, oh am i going back to my in-laws in their house at 1 30 am like i don't even have the energy do that like um, i shuck trying to see if i can get another airline i don't know like 
but most most likely Reverend Saul has to come get him. Like he's coming to get Taylor or something. <laughs> Hush. I'm this close to go to Nairobi. Like the like I'm this close to go to Nairobi. I am so so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Because the way my oh yeah yeah so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Anyway, see how this drama unfolds and keep up the next video so we can see how i get home because <laughs> apparently i'm not getting home today or within the next 24 hours because <laughs> the next flight is in 24 hours to my to manila and i'm not on it hi <laughs> like i'm not on it hi <laughs> this is sad this is sad i've been i've been refused to enter it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i need my husband to enter country hi <laughs> like <laughs> I can't reach his visa on arrival. <laughs> hey, like you need to be black is a calling. Hey, my people, my battery is dying and I don't even know where my church is. See you. God bless you. May God truly bless you.